Thanks for joining me. So today we are going to look at the job queue for advanced sequences with batch patch. What can the job queue do, you're wondering? Well, there are probably two main things that people are going to use this for, although you can use it for a whole lot more. Uh, one possibility is in the situation where you need to run a script before you install updates and shut down a machine and then run another script after the machine comes back online something like that well you can do that with the job queue because you can string together multiple commands in a patch and reboot sequence with the job queue another option that a lot of people will use it for is to do multiple patch and reboot cycles so for example you want to install updates and reboot the computer and then after the computer comes back online you want to have it do another check, download and install any other updates, and then do another reboot. Sometimes we see with Microsoft updates that uh, we end up having to do multiple cycles for whatever reason. And so with batch patch and the job queue, it's really a very simplified process. So let's go ahead and start by adding some computers to the list. And in this case, we'll just use lab XP member one. I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a job queue. We can use this icon on the toolbar here, which is customizable by the way, or we can right click and get all of our actions here. So we'll create a job queue. Pardon the horrible screen refresh here. This is a virtual machine plus screen capture issue. Um, okay, so first thing we want to do in our queue, we want to download and install updates and then we want to reboot and then after the reboot let's say we will wait a minute in this particular case because of a SS, fast SSD that I'm running these virtual machines on I know one minute is going to be enough time but in a normal environment you might need to wait five or ten minutes and you can string together multiple segments of time here if you like but we'll just stick with one minute okay after boy, this screen refresh is horrible. Okay, so after one minute we will do, let's do a reset authorization, detect now, and a report now to check back in with WSUS. And then after that we'll do uh, another update, download and installation. This time we'll say reboot if required at the end and we'll say okay. So there is our job queue. I'm going to middle click here. We can see what what we're looking at. Uh, alternatively, you can double click here, or we just press the R key, we'll do it also. It's the same as expand collapse here. All right, and then we can go ahead and execute the job queue. We can do that either with the icon, or we can again do a right click and execute. We'll say OK, and we're getting started. Also, note that if you don't like the way the window and the columns automatically expand and resize, you're certainly welcome to disable that or change the way it behaves in the tools excuse me, tools settings there's an option for that so here what we've already done is we have one update was downloaded and installed and the reboot was initiated and so now we'll wait Typically, because of these fast SSDs, we end up seeing the machine will come back online within less than 10 seconds. It's already back up, already pingable. But we're going to still have to wait for the entire minute before the next set of actions get launched. There it goes. So now again we're executing the batch patch remote agent, searching for updates. Again we're downloading here. Oh, already up to installing. Okay. 
installation complete. And so that's it. There was no reboot required as we can see here for that second update. So since we chose to only reboot if required, the machine is left online. We can look over here at our all messages column. We can see the sequence of actions that we just launched from bottom up. This was our job queue here. Here's where we waited a minute. 622 to 623. We initiated our reset authorization tech now, report now, and then we did another update installation. And that's it. So that's the job queue. Uh, thanks for joining me.